Here are two of the five of the official members of the Call of Duty Scheme Team. How old are you and who are you? My name is Billy. I'm 19 years old. I play main SOG for Scheme Team and I'm the captain of the Call of Duty team. My name's Tommy. I'm 17 years old. I play main anchor for Scheme Team. About what age were you guys when you started playing Call of Duty? Um, I was about 12 years old, back on World of War. I was a main MP40 player. Uh, I started Call of Duty, actually, it's kind of like a funny story. Uh, my boy Fabrizio has still been my best friend for like 13 years now. And I started playing Call of Duty when I was probably around like 10 or 11. And my first game I actually touched was MW2. My boy uh, Fabrizio, he introduced me, I came over to his house one day. And uh, the first day, basically, um, he kind of destroyed me in this, you know, 1v1. I was never really into Call of Duty, but he's, you know, the one who got me into it. <clears throat> and uh, like a week after, I when I got my Xbox, uh, basically, I came over to his house and uh, I, I basically Tommy's slapped him. Started, I yeah. basically slapped him, and that's when the ego that's the started. Birth of ego. That's how the young Strozzi started in this Call of Duty <laughs> team. Yeah, so obviously, you guys have been friends for quite some time now. Yeah. Or a time, uh... My boy Fabrizio fell off, though. Oh. No, me and Tommy Loki hated each other. Black yeah, Ops 3, what's up? We egoed each other a lot. We, we just thought we were better than each other, but then... But now we're teammates. Yeah. We're what's bros. One, what's one thing you guys dislike about each other? Well, you know, something that really just pisses me off about this guy is that every time we get into a scrim, okay, when we're playing a team, this fool, you know... Take a shit. It's either he's taking a shit, really, I'm just gonna be real here, or he's washing his hands. Okay. Every single time there is this guy is missing, bro. He is just not found ever. I FaceTime him, bro. Phone dead. Every time. That's just my pet peeve. Uh, just not answering. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> All right. One thing I hate about Tommy when he's playing COD with me is that when he's when he's playing, he tended to tend to not talk a lot when he's going off, and he doesn't call it at all, and it just pisses me off. Bro, that means I'm catching the fire, dude. Yeah, but we, when I we see a our anchor beat. talking. I know, I know, I know. I respect that, but when I'm you're... the one in Hill, you're watching my back, and I get killed. Sorry. I'll work on it. So, additionally, we have picked up some new players to our Call of Duty roster. Have they been what we've been looking for? Yeah, dude, we got my, my boy Little Polar Bear, my little Ginger Ninja. Run check. Fire, dude. You, dude, I can't wait to you guys see him in the video. Very hilarious guy. Basically, like, like a troll. You know, he trolls everyone. He just likes to make everyone laugh. Well, then we got my boy Run Check, okay? Two He's kids. A, two kids, homie though, okay? He's always on, always dedicated. He's He has literally the motivation to he run He has the and most play. dedication out of all of us. Yeah. He's a stay at home dad. Plays Call of Duty. And then my boy Jake, ICJD, he came through with this team pass. Very good player, too. He's a good slayer on the team. And uh, yeah, he honestly, he's just always there when you need him, and he's just an all around great player. Alright, now that we know that we're going to Bloomington for the LAN, what's it like as the captain and communicating with the team on and off Call of Duty? Um, in Call of Duty, we communicate a lot in game. We all have really good times in general. Uh, we have group chats that we talk to each other day in, day out when we're not playing. Um, we FaceTime one another whenever, whenever somebody's out here costing or torching and they're not playing at the moment. But as a Call of Duty team, we're all communicating and building a friendship as a team so we can take the chemistry into LAN. All right, last question, players. Are you boys confident in the team for our Midwest tournament? Uh, actually, I'm actually pretty confident with the teams that we've been playing online and that are actually going to the same land that we are going to. Uh, we've been actually winning a lot of those maps. And uh, surprisingly, that the teams that we played, we usually think that we're gonna you know, get smacked because we haven't been a team for that long. But like, when we hop in the game and we're just all turning up, it's just over from there, you know? like. That's why I'm just so confident because of the teams that we've been being, like, beating recently. We do play very shitty teams and we do club them quite often. But when we do play good teams, everybody performs, everybody does their job. We play together and we work as a team. Even though we may lose against the good teams, it's the fact that we're putting up 200 points on them. And with me and Tommy both being on absolutely horrible internet and still putting up numbers, it, it really turns out in the end. Support the internet. Nine megabytes now. <laughs> Alright, it was good getting some questions answered. Next time we'll see you guys, we'll be in Bloomington with the rest of the team. Of course. Are you guys Let's excited? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Alright, see you there. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Right. Who are you and how old are you? My name is Lucas. My friends call me Lukey. I'm 18 and I'm a member of the team team. 
Alright, so it turns out you have another member of the family on the team, that is Tommy. What was growing up like, and what kind of games do you guys play? Growing up with Tommy he was always a bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say a challenge, but it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, and it really molded me uh, to the person that I am today. And uh, the games that we kind of played, a lot of shooters, a lot of sandboxes. I remember one of the first games that we played when we were younger was RuneScape, like the original old school RuneScape, worse graphics than Minecraft. And we used to play that game like it was our life. School, I used to, I remember I used to get sick on purpose. I used to eat these frozen toaster shoes and get sick on purpose so I could stay home and play it. Uh, but yeah, and then it was, a, uh, it was a lot of coming over to his house while he plays COD and yells at kids. That's pretty much how it's been for the past eight years. All right, Luki, so I hear you're a fan fanatic of World of Warcraft. I mean, fanatic will probably be the understatement of the year. Uh, I kind of sold my soul to that game, 2006, 2005. It was about the time that South Park was making that episode still on Adult Swim, and they had this one episode. It was about uh, World of Warcraft, and I saw how it looked, and I just thought it was a really cool game, and I really wanted to get into it. I remember there was this one time that me and my brother were in this uh, guild, and this guild had a bank with all the in-game currency in it, and we just up and took all of it, and basically just said, screw you, everyone else, and left immediately, and then we had a good time with all that. It was one of, one of the most one of the fun moments of the game I had, but it was a good time, and uh, I... I'm still making memories like that, and I hope to make more in the future. Alright, so, you know, World of Warcraft has a monthly subscription fee. Mm -hmm. How much money do you think you've spent on that game? Well, we'll just say that, uh, take $15 and multiply it by 12. I've been playing this game for about 12 years, so... Yeah, I would say a pretty, pretty, pretty fat amount of money. I can't give you an exact number, but it's definitely an amount that I would lose sleep over if I, uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely gonna have to put that number in the video. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's definitely a hefty sum. Money well spent, eh? Hell yeah. All right, Luki, there's been some talk amongst the guys about you starting up a Twitch channel. What's that gonna be like? Uh, yeah, there's been talk. Uh, I've been getting it ready and it's pretty up and coming. I was thinking about doing my streams pretty long in between uh, sessions, four hours, five hours at a time. Maybe. And I'm pretty sure once the fan base keeps kicking in, uh, are you going to be able to take requests from fans you know, and be able to play some games? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, as long as they'll keep coming up, they'll keep making what I make. You can catch me there, twitch.tv slash Scheme Lukey. Scheme Lukey. L-U-K-E-E. -E. Here we have it. Here we have the bosses. Care to introduce yourselves? What's going on? Evan Swift, CEO of Scheme Team, 19 years old. CEO and founder. Victor Soltis, aka Vic, co founder of Scheme Team, 19 years old. Alright, so a couple of weeks ago, we got a package in the mail officially stating we became a business in the state of Illinois. What was that like for you guys? It was very exciting. It's a next step for our esports organization. Yeah, uh, super exciting. Uh, it allows us to move faster than ever and uh, do more for the team than ever. Recently, we were informed about a LAN tournament in Bloomington, Illinois. We just got our T-Pass, and also we added a couple new players to our roster. What's that been like? Oh yeah, we're incredibly excited for the talent we were able to secure to our roster. The uh, five players we have playing for our team is insane. Uh, we're super confident. Great group of guys we got. I watched you guys, very good communication, the determination, all there. Yeah, 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 we're gonna run up the check there. I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No, I definitely don't want that one. Yeah, definitely, dude. The chemistry is getting better day by day. The players are always looking for new ways to improve. As of right now, I'm very confident with the team and the new additions. Apart from Call of Duty, what are your other focuses right now? Our biggest focus is to expand on social media presence. Another big thing is having everybody on Shkinton accountable for what they need to do. Yeah, um, so another huge thing we want to move on is content creation. Obviously these vlogs and other formats of content along with um, other esports avenues. We want to move into other games and esports. So you guys are in college right now. What are you majoring in? 
Yeah, so uh, we're both majoring in business, a very valuable uh, major to take us further in this business and gain a lot of valuable information. Where would you guys like to see the business in one year? Oh yeah, so I'd like to see the business grow to uh, an amazing height, but uh, houses are a big thing we need to work on. Um, right now, a lot of the players and the people working with and for Scheme Team are living in their parents' house or their own apartments or and things like that, but we just kind of want to get everybody in one location so that they can all collab and work together easily. So Scheme Housing, Scheme Offices, um, and then just a uh, huge content creation. We want to dom dominate content creation and dominate esports. Adding on to that, I am very excited to announce weekly vlogs for Scheme Team of our journey. Every week, same time, every week. You can expect a vlog, we're so excited. Let's go guys. Last but not least, most important, Jerry! It's me. Being behind the scenes all the time, how crazy are the guys? Oh, it's a tough one to answer. The guys easily piss me off. They have they know my weak points and they do it well. But you know, most of the time we're just having a great time and uh, really couldn't ask for anybody else to be with. You know, these guys have been everything to me for the past year now and I couldn't ask for better group of friends. Okay, Jared, so how has content production been like for Scheme Team? Content production? So we're pretty good. It gets a little stressful at times, but uh, I'm getting really familiar with the software I use, Sony Vegas, and I've been really exploring that a lot, and I feel a lot comfortable with the stuff I'm making, and time to come, everything will become a lot smoother, and it'll look a lot better. Oh yeah, Jared, are you excited to be with Scheme Team for the long haul? Oh, I'm super stoked for what's to come. Uh, I've been talking with the guys, and we have so many plans coming up, it's wild. And I can honestly not be more excited for what's to come in a year. I can't even, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. All I know is that we're going to be on the grind and we're going to be keep producing the best footage we can for you guys.